Hello, my friends. Let's take a look at this one. This is an interesting question of arithmetic fractions at 7th grade level. You need to add up a lot of terms, and every term is a fraction. The numerators are always 1, and the denominators are the products of 3 consecutive natural numbers. The last term is 1 over 2020, times 2021, times 2022. Can you solve this question? If you want to give a try, pause the video please, and we will come back soon. I am sure this question recalls your memory of a classical question, where you also add up a lot of fraction terms, but in each term, the denominator is the product of two consecutive natural numbers. Such a term equals to the difference between two fractions. The denominator of each of them is one of the natural number. Such like, 1 over 1 times 2, equals to 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2. And 1 over 2 times 3, equals to 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3. Therefore, such a summation equals 2, 1 over 1 minus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 3, until 1 over 2021 minus 1 over 2022. From the second and third terms on, every two consecutive terms are opposite numbers. Therefore, only the first and last terms are left, so the result is 2021 over 2022. We will use similar strategy to deal with the current arithmetic. First. Let's take a look at whether each term can be written down in a simpler form, namely, in a form with more additions and subtractions, rather than multiplications and divisions. The first term, 1 over 1 times 2 times 3, equals to 1 over 1 times 2, multiplies 1 third. Remember what we just talked about regarding the classical question, this equals to the difference between 1 over 1 and 1 over 2, multiplies 1 third. It equals to 1 over 1 multiplies 1 over 3, minus 1 over 2 multiplies 1 over 3, and it equals to half of the difference between 1 over 1 and 1 over 3, minus 1 over 2, and plus 1 over 3. Please pay attention to this equation. It is exactly what we are going to use to deal with the current arithmetic. Now, let's put this equation into each of its terms. The first term equals to half of the difference between 1 over 1 and 1 over 3, minus 1 over 2, and plus 1 over 3. The second term is half of the difference between 1 over 2 and 1 over 4, minus 1 over 3, and plus 1 over 4. The third term is half of the difference between 1 over 3 and 1 over 5, minus 1 over 4, and plus 1 over 5. And so forth. We can group all the new terms into two types. Or maybe it is better to say three types. The first two types are those with the factor of half but we further group those from the original odd terms as one type, and even terms as another. All the other terms are grouped into the third type. To illustrate them more clearly, we color them in yellow, orange, and green, respectively. Let's first take a look at those yellow terms. Its form gets back to the classical question. So we know, its result is half of 2020 over 2021. The orange term has the similar form. Its result equals to a quarter of 2020 over 2022. The green terms has the similar form too. Its result equals to minus half of 2020 over 2022. Without too much difficulty, we can obtain the final result as one quarter of 2020 times 2023 over 2021 times 2022. So we make it. Cheers. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.